Hey, it's Clayton, and welcome to episode three of Ask Circle of Dust. I'm glad you've been digging the Circle of Dust logo for all these years. It really came from Native American art, it was based on that, and to me has always represented the phoenix. In Greek mythology, the phoenix was this creature that when it died, it rose from its own ashes and was reborn. It started over. And I don't know about you guys, but I can guess you're the same as me. There are times in your life where you wish you could just hit the reset button and start over. And Circle of Dust is that kind of idea you start here, you live your life and you die and you end up where you started off. It's kind of a reset button. So I'm glad to hear that not only you've been drawing them on your textbooks and backpacks, et cetera, et cetera, but I'm actually kind of excited to see what you guys are doing now. So if you're drawing the Circle of Dust Phoenix anywhere, please snap a photo and upload it to the Circle of Dust official Facebook wall. I'd love to see it. I'm not sure what you want to stay here. The good news for me, Jordan, is that I'm musically schizophrenic. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like, I like to do very different things. So it's me kind of deciding what my sound sources are. What are what's my palette for this particular project? And that could also come down to, uh, to instruments. What kind of instruments am I using? And then I just kind of get into that mindset and I create for that project. So this idea is something that I said many years ago I would never discuss again publicly. And here I am all these years later about to discuss it. There's all these questions about being a Christian band or being on a Christian label or... I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I never really got it. It's like if I have a massive leak in my house and a plumber comes to fix it, I don't go, hey bro, I need you to fix this, but are you a Christian? And if I'm laying on a hospital bed about to die and I look up at the doctor and say, Hey, I'd love for you to save my life, but are you a Christian? I didn't actually ever come out and say, here's my agenda. I was never put on earth to be somebody's cheerleader and be like, hey, this guy's on our team. Um, I have my beliefs. And, and I've, I've found faith and meaning in music from people who've never come out once and said anything about their faith. It's like, you pull what you want out of my music and my lyrics um, and other artists' music and lyrics, the same that, that I would. So I kind of walked in those circles in the, in the beginning of my recording artist career because the label kind of put me in those circles. So I played a lot of gigs where there were other Christian bands or whatever it was. And, and there was a lot of great people and there still are a lot of great people and they are great people on stage and off stage. But I also saw a lot of hypocrisy and a lot of people that would be one person on stage and somebody totally different off stage. And it was really all about money and success and all the rest of that. And I started realizing like, Everybody here wants me to fit in this same box and be part of this agenda. And that's not what I want to do, and that's not what I was put on earth to do. So I actually completely stopped taking any of those gigs. I didn't walk in those circles anymore, and I was actually more inclined to play a crappy bar for 50 people than cashing in and playing a big event that I probably could have really made a lot of great money on the show and merchandise. And bypass that so that um, at least I could sleep at night and feel like I had integrity because I didn't want to, want to be part of something that I felt was disingenuous. I said this in an interview many years ago, but I'm going to say it again here. If Anton LaVey, who had founded the Church of Satan, had offered me a record deal back then, I would have taken it because I wanted to make music. It really had nothing to do with what the label stance was. It just so happens that the label who offered me a deal had an agenda. It wasn't my agenda. I don't care. I wanted to make music. And so, you know, and then I think about it, it's like if I had taken a deal with the Church of Satan, it would be like, you know, I could, I, I'd probably be allowed to say words like <laughs> but, uh, but it didn't turn out that I, I wasn't really allowed to say that stuff. So, uh, you know, plus the, the sex orgies and stuff you'd have to attend being on that label would be like, it would be exhausting. So again, to recap and clarify, I'm not on any specific agenda. I am who I am and I say what I say for my own reasons just like you do yours and I just I appreciate everyone who has listened to my music and supported me regardless of what the mission is 
uh, or the belief is. And I hope that you continue to listen to my music and enjoy it. Hey Clayton, this is Evans and Reese Martin uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, and we've got a question we'd like to ask you. Uh, we have in our possession here your self-titled 92 and 95 releases, and the track listings are a little bit different, and we noticed that for the re-release, remastered, you decided uh, to uh, include the song Exploration, but not Senseless Abandon and Technological Disguise. So, we're wondering what your plans are for those tracks, if you have any at all. Thanks. Evans and Reese, you guys are blowing my mind. You're wearing merchandise that I forgot I even made. So, uh, you know, that and the, uh, the swanky bumper stickers on your car. Thank you guys for rocking Circle of Dust all these years later, and I'm glad I could help make those bumper stickers and shirts somewhat relevant again for you. So, here's the problem. Every time I approached the song Senseless Abandon and Technological Disguise, some piece of gear in my studio, as soon as I would open them up to kind of t like look into mastering or something else, a piece of gear in my studio at that same moment would instantly evaporate, it would disintegrate. So I have expensive modules that basically turned into little black pieces of coal. I started realizing that the two events were synonymous. I then would pop on something like CNN, pull up the website, bam, global catastrophe, there's a natural disaster. Rioting. And terrorism, there's all, there's all this chaos, and it's only like when I'm opening those two specific tracks. And I realized there was a correlation here, and I think for the sake of world peace, I had to leave two soldiers behind. Oh, oh, that and I don't, I don't really like them. Thanks for sticking all the way through episode three of Ask Circle of Dust. Reminder, the brand new song Contagion has a brand new video. So please feel free to spread the contagion. Post it on your wall, give it to your friends, almost to the point of them getting mad at you. That's how you know you're doing a good job and I would appreciate it.